pre-K three with so many beautiful flowers blooming outside, it's hard not to make projects that include flowers. So we're gonna take an ordinary white plate and a uh, muffin liner. You could also use the bottom of a cup or any other container to make this beautiful flower. Now, just alone putting this together would look like a nice white flower, but we're going to make it look more like a daffodil or a flower growing in your garden. I can use crayons or markers for this project, but I have to think about what I want to color first. I want to color this background area. The plate has a, an indentation here like a circle, and I want to color that in the background. And then I want to color the ridges of my plate. I find that when I'm coloring a large area, and I'm not too sure if these are new markers or not, and it might, you know, not the color might not be even, I like to use crayon first. So I'm gonna do this background in a really pretty yellow crayon. And you can see, you can see I'm outlining that area on the plate that has a ridge on it or a circle. You can see it right when the plate's there. I'm gonna color just to there. You can see how I'm turning my plate so that I just don't color one area. I want the whole, um, the whole plate in the circle to be colored. In fact, I'm even coloring in a circle. I wanna make sure my color is nice and even, and I wanna make sure that I don't have white spots because if it's nice and even, it will, it will, um, it will make the flowers stand out. Okay, now I think I'm gonna to switch to markers. I could keep to crayons, but I think I'm gonna to switch to markers. Um, I think I wanna go make an orange-yellow pattern on the back here. So I can alternate. So if I go orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Now, that actually has a name. That we call A, B, or a one, two pattern. So in other words, you alternate every other one. Now, I don't know how easy it is for you to switch. I just do it like this. I make the color and then I skip one. I make the next color. I skip one, next color, and then I come back and fill in with the other color. Sometimes it's easier than putting one down, picking up, because then what if you accidentally pick up the wrong color? So I just skip one every time I go around. So this is all the A color, the A color or the first color. And then my yellow will be the B color. So that's how we get the name, A, B pattern. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with my yellow marker. In art, we call the colors that are red, yellow, orange, warm colors, and also pink with that. So these are all warm color, warm color flowers. Now, I'm gonna take um, a little muffin liner, 
and glue it so that it has a center that comes out in the middle of the flower. Now we could leave it just like that because it looks very pretty, but it looks like it should have something in the center. So I'm just going to take some very simple orange paper and rip it into little pieces. Put some glue in the center. And I'm just going to crush them up and drop them in the glue. Now, I'm using just orange construction paper. You can use whatever you have around the house. You might have tissue paper. You might want a different color. It's just the nice thing about doing this is it makes your flowers have a lot of different texture. So it doesn't all look flat. And it also looks 3D. 3D is looks like you have some dimension to it. Okay? That's what 3D stands for. So you can see here, I'm very carefully just, remember we take our thumbs and we rip down and then we just crush it up into a little ball and stick it in the glue that we already put in the middle. Now, doesn't that look pretty? Once you know how to make one, you can make many different colors and different shapes and color in all different ways that you'd like, knowing that you can make a really pretty paper plate flower. Okay, that's our lesson for today, Pre-K 3. I hope you enjoy it very much. Bye.